Hi, I'm Incident Meteorologist Stephen Napoli with NOAA's National Weather Service. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the weather that's going on for the next few days over the fire area. So what we have is a front coming through and it will bring some rain and snow showers to the area. And this, over towards the west side of the, the park, uh, we'll see the highest amounts with some rain, but we're not talking about a lot of rain or a lot of liquid, only equal to about a quarter of an inch total of liquid precipitation. Some of that will be rain, other will be snow. In the higher elevations throughout, especially down in this area, uh, northeast of Estes Park, we're looking at only about three to five inches of snow. And then as you go what, east of the area, you're looking at decreased amounts, only an inch or two, or even a trace in the valleys. So this is definitely nowhere near a season ending event. We're expecting a little bit more snow on Monday, but again, only a couple inches here or there. As the incident meteorologist just explained, we are about to head into a moist pattern, but um, it is not a long-term moist pattern, and the amount of precipitation coming is is not extensive, either in the form of rain or in snow. So with that, that will certainly put a damper on the Cameron Peak fire, but it would not be impossible for the fire to exhibit some sort of fire behavior again after it dries out. So because this moisture isn't really long-term and extensive, um, not all the fuels are able to fully absorb that moisture. Um, basically due to, I don't want to get too technical, but the, the, the fuels have been, experiences, have been experiencing persistent drought for, for a number of seasons. And because of that persistent drought, a lot of the heavier fuels are still very dry. And it takes a longer period of time for the heavy fuels, so let's say three inches in diameter and above, to absorb moisture. Um, to really moderate the fire behavior. So in the face of persistent drought, that would take more moisture than just this next two, three days of a tenth of an inch of moisture coming. So vigilance must still be maintained due to still a certain amount of fuel dryness in the heavier fuels out there on the landscape.